We're going to be walking through the cemetery now, guys, to give you an idea uh, of what this looks like. It's really interesting. Right now, there's a broken coffin. He, he asked us if we want to see what's inside. So I'm not sure what to expect. Now, Zarina, what are we looking at here? So we're looking at below some... Sumbad, Sumbad, which yeah, is so that the one, one with the cross on it, guys. They believe that if bodily fluids will um, drip to your body, like in the family member, that is a blessing. We also had a, a death in our family uh, yesterday, so this trip is, I don't know, it's just like meant to be or what. Alright guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all you guys watching our channel today. Today we're doing something special. We're in Sagata. We're gonna go, we're going to be checking out the hang coffins here. There's an amazing history behind it, guys. We're gonna get to it. Before we get there though, we're gonna talk about the uh, entrance fee. So there's a 10 peso entrance fee, roughly 25 cents Canadian for the entrance on, into the uh, sacred site. Um, you also need to have a tour guide which you can find at any one of your hotels. You can ask the front desk. Um, they can find you a tour guide or you can go down to the tourist bureau and they'll give you a list of uh, tour companies you can use and you can call them directly. So uh, yeah, again, we're here at, in Sagada. We're gonna be visiting the hanging coffins. It's really cool, guys. 10 peso access uh, entrance fee. We've got our guide. All right, guys, so we're just entering the cemetery now. I'll give you some facts before I take you on a tour through here. This is a good example of a tomb here. So here in this area, in this province, they don't believe in putting their uh, deceased underground. They want their deceased above ground so sunlight could reach to them. Um, they do believe, uh, unlike other religions, that the soul goes to heaven here. They believe that the souls actually stay here um, or around, roaming around. They could be anywhere here. So. Um, this was a priest's tomb. This is a priest's tomb. He died in 2009. He was only 60 years old. As you see, the other side is empty. This side is actually reserved for his wife. So his wife is still alive somewhere here in Sagada, which is uh, really interesting. So as you can see, this one also has a little window to see in. Uh, this is how he wanted his to be. We're going to be walking through the cemetery now, guys, to give you an idea uh, of what this looks like. It's really interesting before we get down to the hanging coffins, okay? We also had a, a death in our family uh, yesterday. So this trip is, I don't know, it's just like meant to be or what. But um, right now we're in Sagada. We passed a town earlier, not too far from here, about an hour and a half drive called Bontoc. That's where a lot of the headhunters lived. And so the headhunters in Bontoc would come up here to Sagada and do their work. Uh, they would kill. And we asked the tour guide the reason why the headhunters would do that. Was it for land? Was it, were they trying to get gold or what it was? And supposedly it was just actually a level of prestige, a, le a level of status back then, um, which is really interesting. They used to have these tribal wars here which I could just imagine. And that wasn't even that long ago. We're talking a hundred years ago. So yeah, really interesting guys. You can see every one of these tombs um, are elevated. So there are bodies in all these tombs and their belief here is that they are uh, above ground. Uh, the souls are still here with us, with us now. Um, the modern day, um, they prefer to be buried uh, underground, just like a lot of, a lot of other uh, places around the world. So that's why up here you can see uh, tombstones and um, the people are in ground. The veteran's tomb. For those who sacrifice their lives and services that people may live in peace, this site is dedicated to you. War. It's not good for anything. It's crazy because when you're in the cities here in the Philippines, you don't really see uh, much reminiscence of, you know, the leftovers of war, except for the jeepneys, actually. Those are World War II vehicles, which is really cool. But when you come into the province here, you come up to these areas, the history is still there and people remember it. I don't think people will ever forget, not with uh, places like this around, guys. If you guys can see the fence here, uh, just below, this is a... A special area actually very very crazy story so there are three nuns that are buried there they were cooking food for all these people this is here in Sagada and uh, everyone got sick 
from the food and people actually ended up passing away from eating the food, uh, from food poisoning, or they're not even sure if it was deliberately done by the nuns. But the story goes that the three nuns were killed and uh, placed up in that area. So, yeah, another interesting story here in Sagata. Like I said, these past couple of days have been uh, quite emotional for us here, my family. Uh, my mother's here in the Philippines after here for just four or five days. Uh, her mother passed away uh, crazy so there's nothing we can do um, we've told her the best thing to do would be to finish the trip that's what she would have wanted okay we're almost at our spot right now the tour guide he's super cool he's giving us tons of information guys right now there's a broken coffin he asked us if we want to see what's inside so I'm not sure what to expect okay guys here we go Ah, okay, very, ooh. All right, so our tour guide told us there's about 10 coffins in here. Um, it's like a mini cave. Uh, the reason why there's only 10 coffins, it does have to do with space. So depending the size of the area here um, will depend on how many coffins are inside. You might be wondering why are some buried here? Why are some buried at the cemetery? So the ones that are buried here, especially the hanging ones, a lot of it has to do with how fast a spirit ends up, um, getting to heaven, getting, uh, coming, going out of the body. So again, like there's a lot of different beliefs slotted like even here in this village there are different beliefs of being above ground in those tombs being walking among us to people still wanting to be buried underground like the rest of the people or there's people who want to be buried up in these caves up on the hanging uh on the cliffs so their uh, spirits can get to uh, heaven quicker get all their bodies quicker so a lot of different history here um yeah like i said we're almost at the highlight of the tour the hang coffins um, Okay, we're gonna check those out. I'm not sure if I can vlog it, guys. I remember hearing some stories about not being able to talk while being next to them. So I'll do my best to get you guys some uh, some good photos. Pay token walk. So this is the pay token walk, guys. So this one includes like a few different things: the hang coffins, the cemetery. Um, I believe we walk through a coffee field, coffee farm. Um, there's some water involved, so make sure you have proper uh, shoes again. And they also have this uh, rock climbing wall here. So if you're into rock climbing, something you want to do, uh, you can also do that, guys. All right, guys. So as our guide was saying, there's a cave over here. There's one down here. There's one over there. All these caves have coffins in it, um, obviously with people inside. So it's not just the hang coffins. It's all over this area. It's a very sacred area. Um, like I said, we're here with quite a lot of people. So I think the vibe, the energy is a little different than maybe if you were here alone or just with a few people. Um, yeah, as of right now, it's just surreal knowing that there are coffins all around us. Wow. All right, guys, we're here at the hanging coffins. Before I go up to get a close up view, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more history on it. So basically how it works, the reason why there aren't uh, that many coffins on the cliff here, it does have to do with space. There are a lot more on, in other areas, but this is like the tourist spot. This is the area they allow you to go to. So basically how it works, you have to be of a certain age. Um, he wasn't able to give me the age, but you also have to have passed away, uh, died from natural causes. So if you died from smoking or uh, drinking or anything like that, you would you would not qualify to be uh, buried this way. We're gonna go up, we're gonna get a close up view guys. Let's check it out. Guys, it's, it's something else. Crazy history, emotional, bunch of mixed feelings. Okay guys, so our guide, Sotero, is that how I say Sotero? Yes. Sotero, he has some very amazing pictures here for us guys. So I just showed you the guys the coffins. Uh, right now, Zarina, what are we looking at here? So we're looking at below some 
Sumbad. Sumbad, which yeah. Is so the one, one with the cross on it, guys. Yes. The one I showed you. The second from the right. Second going up from the right. So this one, before the uh, final 24 hours of the uh, burial, they prepare the uh, coffin. Okay. So it's the coffin first that they have to put. So the coffin is put up first, then the body. Yes, is. and then so the So this body. is like a scaffolding for them to get up there. So if people are wondering how they're able to put them up there, they actually build this scaffolding. It looks like out of pine wood. Uh, they build the scaffolding up to get the uh, coffin and body up. Okay. Okay, very next we have the photo of the person. Okay. The dead person. Yes, 24 hours. So this, this person has passed away. This is from many years ago, though. Yeah. 2008. 2008. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's the one buried there. So, so the, he's, she's sitting like this because um, they're positioning her to a uh, natal position because Kuya, why is, what's the reason why? Because yes, they believe if you come to mother womb in a fetal position, back to mother earth. Okay, so they, they want them in a fetal position in the coffins. Uh, you come into the, uh, to this, onto this planet, into this earth, in a fetus, a fetal position. They want you to leave in the fetal position. And you can see there's some, she's tied a little. The reason why they do this is because she's on, you know, on the chair. Uh, so they tie her so obviously she doesn't fall off. Is the chair then put up here? After no, it's it's uh, in it, the it house. stays in the house. Stays in the house, okay. Okay, and then she is uh, after that when they're about to send her to her coffin. Okay. They wrap her into a special Cloth. traditional cloth. Um, Clothing. Okay, so this is these are the people here. They're actually carrying that woman. Uh, they're bringing her over here. Yes. Okay. And then, she he said that they believe that if the bodily flu bodily fluids will um, drip to your body, like in the family member, that is a blessing. Okay, so right now she's in the cloth. It's been 24 hours. Uh, that's very interesting, guys. And see, like how they tied her. Yeah, how they tie her and elevate. They elevated elevate her, her and up, put her into her. Into the co coffin. Okay, we're gonna go check out this coffin one more time, guys. I really wanna show you guys a bit more about that. So, uh, like I said, it's the one below the sumbad, the one with the cross on it. That's her coffin, guys. So, the small coffin right there. Wow. All right, before I go show you guys also uh, the coffins here, you're gonna see some names on them. So here in Sagada, uh, the native people here, they're called Igorot. I'll have the name written down. I'm sorry if I'm not saying it correctly, but that's the uh, native people here, the native tribes. Um, so there are two names for the people once, when they're born. It's their Christian name and the Igorot name. So when they go to school, on their birth certificate, when they're out in public, the, they use their Christian name. Um, on the coffins here, this is their Igorot name. So only people from Sagada have this name. If you're from another province, another area, another city, you won't have this name. So um, also the people obviously buried on this wall have to be from Sagada. They have to pass certain qualifications to be put on there. So there you go, guys. Whew. All right, guys. So we got some more facts here about uh, some of these coffins. So at the top, so on the right side here, this, these sets of coffins, uh, the second and third one down, the two browner ones, those were actually husband and wife. Um, if you go down, you're going to see two coffins. It's going to say Podasen, that one. And then there's the Sumbad. The one that says Sumbad with the cross on it is actually uh, the child. Uh, the one above it is the husband, and the one above that is the, um, the wife. So there are families that are put in here, not necessarily at the same time. They died uh, decades apart, but they're put up here with their with their family. So. Pero ito mam, makita mo yung yung dulo ng kopi isa lang. Sounds like they're singing at us. They're singing oh, us a yeah. song. Resin. Another interesting fact with the coffins is that a lot of the people um, would prepare the coffins uh, early on in life. So, for instance. Um, for me, I'm 35, I would have a coffin prepared for myself and I would make it myself. Uh, so back then they used chisel, a hammer, to uh, chisel out the, uh, the coffin for themselves. So yeah, really, really, really different. Okay, there we go. Sagada, Philippines, hanging coffin tour. What's the name of the tour again? Pai Token. Pai Token. Pai Token tour. 
thousand pesos for the guide. It doesn't matter how many people you are. I think it's up to five people actually. So as long as you're five and under, it's a thousand pesos total, not each. And then there's a 10 peso entrance fee, environmental fee uh, that goes to the little community here. So uh, that's it guys. I'm down here, I'm in my bare feet. It's like usual, I'm pig headed and I don't like wearing shoes, I refuse. So uh, my little sandals here are not uh, feasible for this kind of uh, terrain. All right, see you guys a little later. Supposedly there's something special here. I think we're gonna get a little wet. Uh, I don't know if I'm swimming, but we'll see. We'll see what's coming. Wow, check this out guys. Beautiful.